hello everyone welcome to my channel Silenum tech automation after many days i am making this video and also i would like to thankful each and everyone who are supporting my videos and our channel as well so i hope you people will continue the same for our upcoming videos as well okay so in this uh, today tutorial i am going to discuss about how to highlight web elements with the help of javascript executor in selenium okay how to highlight web elements in selenium with the help of javascript executor okay first of all why we need to highlight this web element okay why we need to highlight this web element inside selenium okay for example as you can see here there is some orange hrm demo site of web application okay so here it is a login page so there are two fields like username field and password field right there are two web elements okay for username web element i highlighted with my desired color called yellow whereas i highlighted password web element also with the same color that is yellow okay so how we can highlight and what is uh, uh, what is need to highlight this web element okay why we need to highlight the web elements because so as an automation tester we can automate our application like based upon the user stories and test cases right so whereas after our execution so some non-technical guy or any one of your team member wants to know where exactly that step is failing okay so if you don't highlight your web element so when you are going to analyze your failed test scripts okay so it is uh, a little bit difficult to highlight the failed uh, test step okay it is difficult to uh, analyze your failed test step sometimes right so during that time so there are some uh, thousand lines of code so during that time you can go to your console and you can find where exactly it is failing okay so at the same time it is a very understandable and it is very easy to highlight which web element is failing with the help of this highlight web element concept okay so that's why uh, if we use this highlight web elements so it will be very helpful for you to analyze all your application functionality so at the same time if client wants to know uh, your automation uh, test functionality how it is going means if you highlighted all your web elements with some color means it is easily understandable for your clients as well if they want to know okay so likewise we can highlight all these web elements with different different colors which are available like red or yellow or blue any kind of color it is we can highlight okay so at the same time at the same time client can also understanding the functionality very well right so and also so and also we can here perform uh, it for all the web, web elements throughout your application okay we can highlight all your web elements inside our application with the desired colors okay so at the same time uh, it is an optional choice okay i am not telling it is mandatory to highlight your all your web elements but it is optional and it is very useful when you are analyzing your failed tests or your execution okay so let's get started so how we can highlight this web element so as we know already javascript right as we know already javascript okay javascript is an oops scripting language used to make web pages interactive while java is an oops programming language right okay as we know already javascript as an oops scripting language and it is used to make web pages more interactive where java is an oops programming language right so here in selenium web driver we can find any element by using of locators like xpath id name css likewise we can have different locators to find out a web element with the help of selenium right so but sometimes what will happen these locators cannot identify or don't work right so sometimes what will happen these locators like xpath css name id so these locators sometimes which may or not identifiable and which do not work at some situation okay during those situation it is better to go to use this javascript executor okay with the help of javascript executor we are going to highlight all these web elements inside our application okay so here what is a javascript executor first of all okay what is a javascript executor javascript is a javascript executor is an interface and it indicates that a driver can execute the javascript 
right it will indicates a driver can execute the javascript okay that is called javascript executor here one more method is there inside our javascript executor interface that method called as execute script okay here execute script is a method and it is implemented from the interface called javascript executor okay but this execute script executes the javascript in the context of the currently selected the object okay this execute script method will execute the javascript executor in the context of the currently selected object for example i am i am going to highlight this web element with the help of execute script method okay so that's what this line tell about it is a method that execute script is a method and it is implemented from the javascript executor interface okay this execute script method will execute the javascript in the context of the currently selected object okay here i am going to select this web element that is called as object okay this execute script method it will execute the javascript in the context of the currently selected object okay that is about execute script okay we will see how we can highlight this web element for example i have written already a program here for logging into orange hrm by entering the username and password i took all these experts and i am clicking on login after clicking on login i am going to click on the link text called pim okay let me show you here okay i clicked on login so here we can have one uh, link text called pim so i want to click on this link text that is pim so after that i am going to add an employee for this pim okay so i will highlight all these web elements with the mentioned color okay so here i mentioned with yellow color right so i am going to highlight all these web elements with yellow color only so after that i am going to enter one full name okay that is first name i am going to enter for this employee and after that i am going to enter last name for this employee okay so this is the scenario so we will see how we can highlight all these web elements with the desired color okay in my case i am highlighting with yellow color okay we will see how we can highlight so here i have already uh, write a piece of code here uh, like i just want to copy this line okay and i am going to paste after the username web element okay so here you can see okay let me import this javascript executor it is an interface we discussed already okay here i am importing javascript executor so after that here you can see we are using javascript executor that is it is an interface and it will indicates that a driver can execute this javascript executor so that's why i am taking here driver okay this driver is going to execute this javascript executor okay this driver is going to execute that javascript executor so after that with the help of execute script method i am going to highlight an object that is called our web element called username okay i am going to take this username here okay so here so what is this method is telling execute script is a method and it is implemented from the javascript executor interface okay this execute script method okay this execute script method will execute the javascript in the context of the currently selected object okay in my case i selected this object to execute okay that's why i mentioned here the username as my web element okay so here if you mouse over here you can see string script okay this is my script where i am going to write my color and i am going to set some attribute with the help of style and the background i am setting here yellow the border will be two pixels you can increase this pixel as well and i am going to mention some solid red you can see this output okay let me log in no it is not possible to go back right so it is disabled now highlighting web element okay so here i mentioned <coughs> two attributes here the first one is my uh, script and the second one is my web element okay so inside this script what i am doing i am setting some attribute of that particular web element called username and i am setting the background color as yellow with the border of two pixels with the color of red solid red color okay so this is the line i am going to highlight the web element username with the help of yellow color 
okay in the same way if i want to highlight my password web element with some different color okay with some different color for now i am taking the same color only that is yellow color what we just now saw okay what we saw just now so then so i am entering the send keys after that i am doing it for the same for password also okay now i'm going to remove this line with the help of same reference i'm adding color as well here okay so this is for admin and this is for password okay so now i am going to add it for login also okay now i am going to add it for login as well right so now i am going to add the same color for login button as well okay and we will see what will be the output okay so after highlighting i am going to click on that particular web element right so that is our login button okay here okay sorry uh, this one right password okay password okay i am pasting here password and it is for login button okay with the help of javascript executor we can easily highlight all our web elements in our application okay in the same way i'm going to highlight for pim link as well okay if you don't want to write this many times you can just create a reusable method so there only you can add this uh, javascript executor so it will applicable for all your remaining web elements when you are calling that method okay so that is uh, a standard way okay so after that so i'm going to apply it for pim link that web element pim link okay so we will see whether all these web elements are highlighting or not okay so this is how we can highlight the web element easily and which will also uh, easy to understand your application functionality sometimes what will happen your application is executing very fast so during the time it is uh, very hard to remember so what is the functionality flow okay so i added for add employee link also so next i'm going to add for next i'm going to add for first name and last name as well okay so to avoid these uh, these many times uh, to return all these javascript executor javascript executor you can better uh, to create this line inside a reusable method so that you can easily reduce your piece of code okay so after this i am going to apply it for last name as well okay so i'm going to apply it for last name also okay so what is our last name is the web element so then i'm adding for this one as well okay so we will see now so whether it is highlighting till the last name okay so for each and every web element i am going to mention some red dot slip to show you okay so whether it is highlighting or not in clear way okay so now let me remove so let me copy and uh, add for send keys also and also for this one as well and also for add employee right red dot slip okay okay after this i am going to add for add employee link as well okay so after highlighting web element i am going to add it for this one as well after highlighting web element i am going to add here as well so it will come before entering the test data okay so here it will be so likewise for remaining web elements also okay it is very very helpful if you want to know okay so it is an optional de decision so i am not telling it is mandatory to use inside your selenium but there is a choice to highlight your web elements okay i am just telling there is an option to highlight all your web elements if you want okay so let me add it before login dot click okay so that we can easily get to know after waiting uh, five seconds it will uh, click on that particular web element okay so here also i am going to enter after javascript execute script okay so this is the first line and this is our login button 
so then after pam okay this is okay and uh, after add employee and add employee dot link okay this is also fine and uh, this is also fine right okay so likewise uh, we can easily highlight our all elements okay let me execute this script and we will see whether it is highlighting or not okay so it is going to launch our browser and maximizing and entering the url okay with the help of driver dot get what does this get driver dot get method will do it will take that url and it will launch the url okay so here we can see it got highlighted and it is highlighting the second web element also it is entering the admin and it is entering login also you can see so then it is going to maximize now okay so here you can see pam also highlighted and uh, add employee also highlighted but see pam also highlighted add employee also highlighted so after that it is going to enter first name see here also it is highlighting web element with the color of yellow and the last name also it highlighted okay you can see it clearly I zoomed okay so this is how we can highlight all your web elements you can see this two pixels i mentioned the border of that text box i mentioned two pixels here you can see the same code here the border i mentioned here two pixels with solid red okay so now i will uh, change it to blue color you will see the difference solid blue solid blue solid blue okay solid blue okay so solid blue solid blue solid blue okay this is how we can easily hide highlight all our web elements okay so it is very very helpful concept but it is an optional choice okay it is an optional thing it is not mandatory to use inside your framework okay but there is an option to highlight all our web elements with the help of javascript executor that is the main intention of this video okay so if you uh, like this video please drop a like which helps me a lot to do more videos uh, from both automation and manual point of view and also please share this video to your friends at least they will also get some knowledge about this video okay and also please uh, share this video and which will helps our channel also to recommend this video for more people okay because i have already made this video okay when i made this video but i don't have uh, that much uh, subscribers to know about this concept but i have enough subscribers at least i can uh, show them about this concept okay so you can see here it is entering the first name with the solid blue color what we updated there see now so now what we will do we will take that text box with blue color and we will highlight that border with yellow color okay we will make one more try with see now we changed it to a blue okay we will change it to blue and we can change it to yellow if it is there or not i don't know but we will try yellow we will try okay yellow and this is blue color okay this is yellow and this is blue okay if you want to uh, use this in a generic way means so you can create one reusable method so there you can add only one line of code so that it will applicable for remaining all your web elements okay so for now just i am showing in this way but this is not the correct way if you want to uh, be in generic way you can do that by creating a separate method and add uh, this code over there which will work perfectly fine no problem okay so then for blue so then yellow so then yellow after this blue color okay after this blue color so now everything is okay right yellow yellow blue yellow blue okay now let me execute and we will see why this maximize is okay so now let me increase the zoom size ok 
okay see you can see it is highlighting blue and blue color and the blue color for login also we applied here you can observe closely it is highlighting that yellow color also it's solid yellow but we are not able to see because of this blue color okay we can apply the color whatever we want with the help of javascript executor okay that's all about this video so please drop a like and please subscribe to my channel if you are new to here and also please share this video to your friends or colleagues so that it will helps for uh, our channel and also your friends or colleagues also will know about this concept and also uh, please subscribe that is my last request and i am going to close this session so i hope you people get some knowledge about this video we will connect with our next video until then take care everyone have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation thanks guys